Welcome friends to the channel. Uh, this is Alex. Uh, we haven't been doing anything bushcrafty or gear reviewing and that's mainly because I haven't been getting out much at all. So this is going to have to do. I thought I would, in my last videos, I, uh, I was showing you the computer I restored back to, uh, there's some grime from my kids on the uh, aluminum. But in the last video, I swapped this aluminum out, I swapped out the glass, and I swapped out the LCD. But since then, uh, my friend bought me a cool little adapter that plugs into the mini DVI port on the back. So yeah, we updated this entire chassis, got it looking nice again, got the glass looking nice, and yeah. Anyhow, my friend bought me this cable, or adapter, it's a uh, mini DVI to HDMI, so I got a second monitor running here. And as you can see, instead of uh, El Capitan, I used DOS Dude 1's patcher tool to uh, update it to Mojave. Which I like because it's got Siri and it supports a lot more apps uh, than El Capitan did. did. It doesn't really support any apps anymore, so... And if you wanted to find anything, you had to dig around on the internet, and it was just horrible finding apps that work. But uh, this one has some supported apps, uh, Mojave does. And, uh, yeah, it's a lot more than El Capitan. And uh, if you're wondering for performance, because this is an early 2008 iMac, so it's ancient already. But I threw that SSD in there uh, a couple videos ago, and that sped it up a lot. Uh, it still does have a little bit of lag here and there, and you can't really open data intensive apps. I got like just the basic apps. It's for internet browsing, light photo editing, and surfing the net, basically. And some games, like I can run. Uh, here, we'll just get rid of this. Uh, it can run Stardew Valley, and it can run like uh, old school civilization so you can play some games on it uh, the dual monitor thing is kind of kind of pointless since you can't really uh, like if I wanted to I could open up my mail app and here I'll just show you how fast that would be so it's not unbearably slow and yeah I can get like a couple tabs running it on here, I could open Safari and just have that running. My mail open on the other side. Or, like I was doing, playing video games on one screen and uh, having Google open on the other one to look up tutorials and stuff like that on how to do whatever I was doing in the game. But yeah, it runs a lot slower than El Capitan. It, not unbearably slow, but not noticeable. You could notice it. Uh, especially when you have more than one app going, more than, I'd say four at a time is about the limit with the amount of RAM that's in this, which is four gigabytes. But, that's what I've been doing, just tinkering around with this computer setup. I got it really, really cheap, so I'm not too worried about it, and it's something to do when you're cooped up in the house. So that's that's an update on what's going on with me. It has really nothing to do with the channel because we are at a standstill with gear at the moment. The mail system's backed up. You can't really buy gear. Uh, and I don't think, truly I don't think it's a smart time to be spending money right now uh, on stuff. Um, this was, like I said, dirt cheap for this iMac here. And then the other one was $40 and then I put a $40 SSD in it. So that not too bad but I wouldn't recommend uh, spending too much money nowadays sit on it you know what I mean anyhow if you guys like the video click like if you want to share hit share if you want to comment down below please comment down below say hi tell me what you think and uh, I'll get back to you with another video of some sort in the near future okay bye